Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. So for this one, we're going to talk about the Lunar New Year celebration. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, a lot is going on here, so make sure you guys do pay attention to this. So a couple of things. There is a new login bonus. Uh, so start the New Year's with Dokkan Battle. Dear players, soon it will be Lunar New Year uh, to show our appreciation, support, uh, yada, yada, yada. You get Kai's, you get Stones, Hercule Statue, all that other stuff. <laughs> so... If we move over, over here, that is. So, Lunar New Year, to show our appreciation, uh, new Super Saiyan Vegito, SSR Super Vegito, will appear in the Dokkan Festival. On top of that, the long-awaited LR Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, will soon arrive. We talked about that previously. Uh, I was like, you know what? A lot of people are kind of not noticing that that's a thing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to talk about it in my video. That's a thing, guys. And then shortly after that, everybody's like, oh, my God, it's a thing. <laughs> Uh, new SSR Mighty Mask from the Rising Dragon Carnival. Eh. Summon event can also be Dokkan Awaken into an LR. So, Mighty Mask is coming out. Uh, it's cool that they mentioned him because they typically don't... Well, at least Global has done a great job at it. But JP didn't really mention these units. That's why they had to put that notice in the game. Like, hey, yeah, these guys are a thing. Sorry we never mentioned them. Aside from the featured LRs, yeah, these guys are a thing. <laughs> So, yeah, Mighty Mask will be coming in the Rising Dragon Carnival. Oh, got so used to the featured LR banners on Global. Um, I wish Global would have just done everything like a featured uh, as LR banner. Um, because those aren't super great. Like, the rates are still trash, but it's still ten times better than the Rising Dragon Carnival. Uh, but I guess they need to put out a Rising Dragon banner so they can rebirth some of those units, I guess. I don't know. Uh, join the events now and rejoice with us to welcome the Lunar New Year. So, uh, from 211. Oh, this is tonight. This is like literally right now, actually. <laughs> so this started right now. That's probably why it's in the news, duh. Uh, so anyways, to uh, March 2nd, there is the login bonus. Get one stone and a lot of rare items every day. One stone. <laughs> uh, number two, Lunar New Year special missions. They start tomorrow on login pretty much. Tomorrow at 4 p.m., the special missions uh, for stones and other various rewards does kick into effect number three there will be a dragon stone discount starting tonight so go ahead and buy those buy through dragon stones for the price of one 32 over 50 percent 91 dragon stones over 20 percent discount seven times only number four tonight oh snap this is tonight <laughs> tonight at 10 30 p.m pacific standard time literally six hours from now to the dot at the time of the recording anyway Super Vegito goes live. So that is interesting. Tonight, Super Vegito goes live. Guys, Super Vegito is a thing. Uh, make sure you guys get prepared for that. The stone sale will be a thing as well. Blazing Patara event, of course. Super Battle Road comes out in two days. If you guys didn't see my prep video, make sure you guys check it out. I go over every single team. I incorporate a lot of options, although there are some that I didn't really mention because, of course, common sense, guys. You got to use it a little bit. I'm not taking a shot at anybody. I know that sounded like it was, but I love you guys. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so that's a thing. Super Battle Road, I implore you guys to check that out. Quests to become a LR are about to begin. Number seven, new LR Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, arrives on Tuesday. Finally, he's a thing. He is coming. We waited, like, eight months or whatever. He's finally freaking coming. Uh, and it's fitting that Global is getting him first, it seems. That may change, but it's fitting because, of course, the uh, thing was on Global. So, new Supreme Kai missions are added as part of that. The Majin Buu Saga category banner is a thing. I remember when this, like, was all in JP and people were like, oh, I right, Super Vegito's coming out like, oh, yeah, he's the Majin Buu category leader. Because we saw this news and they didn't say what leader skill he has, right? Because they didn't do it here. And I was like, oh, well, Majin Buu Saga category? That means that he's the Majin Buu Saga category unit. And people were like, oh, no, it's not confirmed. I was like... Oh, shut up, bro. And they're bringing out a Majin Buu Saga category banner, you know, for the first time ever. It's definitely because he's the Majin Buu Saga category leader. <laughs> and, of course, he was. Uh, so, they are bringing in the rest of the Universe 6 tournament, uh, the Tournament of Power uh, units, Universal Survival Saga. So, that's going to be Fit Buu. That's going to be Tech Android 17. Uh, that's going to be a Topo unit. I believe Bergamo is a thing in there as well. Uh, and there's like one or two other units. And, of course, Kale and Khalifa. And they are finally, as part of that, they're also bringing this. A lot of people were mad that this wasn't a thing earlier. Because Global did something really weird. They fast-tracked releases on units. Which is not a problem, for the most part. 
they fast tracked the releases of UI Goku for Christmas, and of course, Ultimate Gohan as well, like dropped at that same time, kinda. And a lot of people really didn't pull for it because it was just really bad timing to drop that unit. But Ultimate Gohan, every version of Ultimate Gohan, including the new category, a hybrid Saiyan leader, and the Ultra Instinct Goku are farmable to SA10 through this event because there's also a free to play physical Ultra Instinct Goku that is through this event. Uh, and he is a tournament of power category leader, although it's like a really low boost. And I implore you guys to check out the, the showcase that I did on that unit. I showed him off. Uh, it is basically in his best possible scenarios. So that's the thing. I'm happy about that. Time attack missions. So they are adding the, because of course you need these. You need these uh, Nimbus medals, excuse me, for the awakening of Mighty Mask. You need those medals for Mighty Mask. And basically these will be on like Dokkan Sage, it'll say, oh, clear Kid Buu's event in like three minutes, you know, things like that, and you get these from doing different requirements like that, just like Supreme Kai Trials. Also, Rising Dragon Carnival is a thing. I assume that on this banner, they will actually awaken the Trunks, you know, because last time they brought this, they didn't awaken the Trunks, surprisingly, even though Trunks was in the schedule to be released, they didn't do it, uh, so DBZ Space was kind of wrong about that. I assume that free-to-play Trunks will awaken, and he gets Fierce Battle. He's pretty solid. Another unit I've showcased, by the way, if you want to search that up. Uh, Rising Dragon Carnival, though, like I said, that's going to be the LR banner uh, for Mighty Mask. It's going to feature him. Not feature him, but he will be in the banner. Hopefully, he's featured or something like that. That would be cool if Global decided to bait and switch like that. Uh, otherwise, I really don't care about that. I mean, because those banners are notorious for having nothing but, like, crappy old-school units that you don't need. Double rates are cool and all, but, like, unless you're a new player, that's not the best banner to pull on. Uh, triple rank experience, I implore you guys to get at least to rank 210. Uh, that's a sweet spot. Of course, if you can get higher than that, go for it. And then, of course, price discounts for the Baba Shop. So, again, Mighty Mask coming. Go 10 and Trunks, basically. I actually showed that unit off today. Check that out. I showed that unit off today. If you want to see how powerful that unit is and if you should go for it, check that video out i put it out earlier today or yesterday depending on when you guys are seeing this uh but super vegeto is coming tonight i thought that was coming in a couple of days uh but in a couple of days super battle road and the final supreme kai trials for the lr vegeto are coming to global now global uh, i don't know when jp's getting this stuff we could wake up tomorrow and jp has it i don't know but that's a thing so anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy this if you did make sure you guys consider subscribing for more content and while we're here really quick i want to check the schedule to see if any of this stuff has been added it has not. Like, for example, that means they're gonna be a there's going to be a data download sometime, like, probably later today. Because this unit's not fully translated, and, you know, Vegito isn't fully translated. There's going to be a data download sometime today so that they can implement this. And maybe we'll see some more units pop into the schedule, like Vegito Blue. And they'll finally put his full passive in there and stuff like that. So, it's, it's a time, man. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys.